What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orpixie and welcome back today to Pokemon Trinity. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today it is time once again for a brand new episode in our beautiful Pokemon world. And today it is the day for revenge. It is time to do what we have failed to do on two occasions now. Oh my goodness, the salt level last episode was pretty real lads, I'm not gonna lie. So... <laughs> Last episode, what we did is we went to the savannah biome because we are in the hunt for a legendary dog. So, we've had two of these spawns so far. We've had Hente and we've had... Uh, it was Raikou. Yeah, it was Raikou in the last episode. It was Ente like a good few episodes ago. All three of these dogs spawn in the savannah biome. They're quite rare. However, on two separate occasions now, we have both been sausage. So the first one with the Entei, uh, we had our Pokeballs in this silly little black backpack and they're not accessible when you're in the battle menu. Of course, as soon as you exit a Pokemon battle, the Pokemon despawns, so we couldn't catch it. And then last episode, <sighs> I guess we could say the struggle was real. I mean, it was literally the struggle and it was real because Raikou fainted itself using struggle after we chucked so many pokeballs <laughs> trying to catch this guy so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to savannah and i'm pretty determined to leave with a legendary dog i don't know which one it's gonna be but that is the goal for today i really 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 want one and oh i got another mystery egg here as well so just before we go and leave oh yeah I've got some cool things to talk about today, actually. I'm kind of excited about them. Um, but just before we go, and oh, ladies and gentlemen, good news. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, GG 10 on 10. Good effort because we managed to hit the like goal in last episode. Of course, we had like a little dilemma because if you remember correctly, two episodes ago, we actually finished the Shrine of the Mighty Derbitu 3.0 and we were kind of like stuck. We were thinking, hey, should we extend the Derbitu Shrine and make it bigger or should we start filling in all of the spaces to just make the intensity of Derbitu's that much higher? We decided instead uh, to fill in some gaps. I'm really glad we did it because look how cool this looks. <laughs> so two more pictures once again thank you so much for your continued support here on pokemon trinity it's really really amazing um so yeah once again if we could try to hit that 3500 like goal that would be incredible um so we can keep hailing the mighty derpachus because to be honest though the derpachu hailing didn't bring us good luck last episode however at least the legendary spawned but i'm really hoping today the derpachu is gonna take favor on us you know what I mean? I mean, he's he's he sometimes has to be cruel to be kind. And I think in his own way, he was maybe helping us. He was giving us the determination and the desire to catch one of these legendary dogs. So before we leave, are we ready? Three, two, one. All hail the mighty Derpidu. Okay, so just before we leave to go back to the savannah, um, I think I've got a good amount of ultra balls, uh, which is good. I've got some quick balls as well. I'm going to try those. Uh, instead of going straight for the weakening, I'm going to try a few quick balls uh, at the beginning of the battle because you never know, do you? You never know. Now, someone actually mentioned a, a pretty cool idea. It's something that I've never thought of before, and I'm guessing it probably does work. But they mentioned when a Pokemon runs out of PP, why don't we use a Ghost-type Pokemon and swap it in so that the struggle move can't do damage. Now, I'm not actually sure if this works or not. I see no reason why it shouldn't. The only problem with that is I have no idea when that legendary is going to start using struggle. So we've got a little dilemma. We can either try it out just for the fun of it. Um, but do we have a ghost Pokemon? No, we don't really. I mean, I could go and catch like a Ghastly or something. Or I don't know, we've got a level one Shuppet. <laughs> that would be... I guess technically it would work because it wouldn't take any damage from struggle or would it? I don't know. The only problem is, is we're using false swipe to get it down to one HP. So it's really difficult to predict when that first struggle is going to come. And as soon as that struggle comes, it's too late because it will just kill itself anyway. So we may take that into consideration. Actually, we might try and level up maybe like a uh, like a ghastly or a haunter or something. Um, for the next time that we catch one. But I think today I'm going to stick with the tactic of weakening it down to 1 HP. I was also thinking, do we have any type of moves here which will like hypnosis or something like that? 
You know, something to kind of put it asleep. And you know what? I actually don't think we do. Which is a bit of a problem, to be honest with you. We've got Shadow Ball and Nightmare. Ah, I don't think we have one. We've got some Overspill here as well. Oh, it's another Shadow Ball. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we've got one, you know? That kind of sucks. Um, I think maybe if we put it to sleep, it would make life even a little bit... What is that outside? Oh, that was my chestnut. <laughs> it got summoned all the way out here. That was so weird. Huh. Okay, ooh, let's go to the savannah and, yeah, let me chat about some cool stuff. Okie dokies, we are here in the lovely savannah. So, plan of action is pretty much similar to last episode. We're going to be hunting in and around this area. So, I'm going to be looking for some cool boss Pokemon. Maybe even a couple of shinies. You never know what you're going to get. But, the main goal is to wait for the elusive savannah biome legendary shout. Because then we've got a shout of catching a legendary, which is always good. Uh, oh! So, this is kind of cool, actually. One of the most frequent things I get asked, and I've been asked this for years and years and years and years, is what kind of stuff I use to record. It's like a really commonly asked question, and I can kind of understand that, because obviously, like, in this day and age, with so much technology in and around, it's kind of difficult sometimes to do, like, the research and find out what's actually good and what's rubbish and all that stuff. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of a really tricky thing to answer a lot of the time, because I've got so much stuff. Uh, but the cool thing is, like, a couple of days ago, I was approached by this website called kit.com. And it's a really, really cool website because what it does is it allows me to basically put up pictures and links and all of that stuff to everything that I use in my setup. Um, so it's a really, really good way of me showing you exactly all of the things that I use uh, when I'm recording, all of the cool things in my office and bits and pieces. Uh, so I set up, uh, set up like a profile up. I will link it in the description below. It's a really good place to see all of my stuff. I actually got like super into the website. So um, this, by the way, this isn't like a sponsored video or anything. I just really like this website. <laughs> it's really cool. Um, so yeah, I made a profile. I will link it in the description below. If you want to go and check it out, that would be cool. Uh, and I've done a few sections on there, which I think you guys would be interested in. So one of them is called YouTube 101. And it is a full list of every single piece of tech that I have and use to make videos. So I've got like my microphone, my monitors, my headphones, my keyboards and all that good stuff. Uh, I've also made a couple more playlists. I got super into it last night. So I've made like a must have video game section. Um, so if you're looking for any game recommendations, it's just full of stuff that I really enjoy and I've played and you know, I've played on the channel or I've just played for fun. All that good stuff. Uh, I've also done, like, a section which is sort of slightly more affordable things for people who are trying to start YouTube. This is always the difficult thing. When someone asks me that, I get this a lot. It's like, uh, I'm starting a YouTube channel. Have you got any tips or recommendations or this, that, and the other? Um, a lot of the time with starting YouTube, YouTube is not really a very cheap thing to do. You know, you kind of do need a lot of kit in order to do it. So I've tried to find a few things on there which will help, sort of affordable USB microphones and all that kind of stuff. Um, and what else have I got in there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like every other YouTube, I've got loads of, like, gadgets and toys and stuff in my office because it makes it look all cool and fancy. So I've linked all of those there in as well. Um, and, yeah, if you're interested, go and check it out. You can make, like, a free account on there. I think you can sign up with your Twitter or an email or whatever. You can like my kits with a little heart thing. You can leave comments on items and stuff if you like them as well. Uh, and I think it's a really, really cool website. So if you want to go and check that out, link in the description below. I'm going to be adding to it as well. I think you can, like, follow people over there as well. I like the website. I think it's really, really good, especially because it will give me the chance to show you exactly all of the things that I've got. Um, so, yeah, if you're interested and you've got nothing else to do, go and check it out. Uh, it looks really, really good on, like, a computer or a PC. You can use it on your phone and mobile and stuff. Uh, it's a little bit more tricky to see. Um, because it only, like, displays sort of one item instead of, like, three next to each other. But it's cool. So, anyway, if you're interested, go check it out. If you're not, that's cool. Um, but, yeah, anyway, so as you can see, we are going to be flying around here. And we are going to be looking for legendaries. We're going to look at shinies. We're going to look for boss Pokemons. So far, though, we found nothing. Which is kind of quite sort of what we would expect from the savannah. It's a really hard biome to find stuff, actually. But you never know. Today could be our day. The Derpichu could smile upon us. Is that another shiny Scyther? Oh, it's a bush. <laughs> Why do you do this to me, Scyther? Situation update. We're about 20 minutes in. Um, So far, no dice. Uh, which is a little bit disappointing. I'm not, 
I've genuinely have not found anything. <laughs> not even a single boss Pokemon. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. This is something I wanted to talk about. So, yesterday, up on the channel, we had Slime Rancher. For the first time in maybe, like, two or three weeks. Uh, apologies for the delay in Slime Rancher. Basically, as I'm sure you guys know, uh, it just got released into, like, full version, which is really cool. Uh, it's amazing to see a game that's had, like, a really long development time actually finally get released. The thing is, like, this day and age, loads and loads and loads and loads of games that are really, really good, they never get released fully. They just stay in alpha or beta. Uh, the reason why, to my knowledge, is just because the games do so well in alpha and beta that there's no real reason to release them fully, uh, which kind of sucks. I don't think that really is the right way to do things. So, it's cool to see Slime Rancher finally released. Uh, we finished the game. In case you are wondering, uh, we're going to be continuing on. Basically, what happens in that game is you finish the storyline, kind of, and there was this amazing, beautiful, sort of portal-esque style end song. It was beautiful. Uh, but we're going to be back because they've added, like, new things into the game. And actually, just today, they released a new update for it, which is really cool. So I'm excited to see all of that stuff. And I know that they've got new stuff planned as well. Um, so we're going to go back into that. Just kind of wanted to mention it in case people were curious about the Slime Rancher. It's been a game that we've played for many, many months now. I absolutely adore that game. Uh, and yeah, we will be back 100% with some more Slime Rancher episodes. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the ending of it. It was so sad, wasn't it? I think I said it in the video, but how can a game about slime be so emotional? That was the question I'm asking myself. It was very pretty. It's been 20 minutes, nothing has spawned. Already going slightly mad. Please, pick someone, please. Update number two. Everything is rather grim. Look at my blue pigeon. Isn't it majestic? <laughs> oh, it's been an hour. An hour. An hour of nothing, man. Are you kidding? I mean, I've seen a couple of green bosses, but they're not even worth, like, talking about because they're green and they don't drop anything good. Ah, oh, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. So it's been an hour. No legendary shouts. I'm determined, though. I'm gonna- I'm gonna stand in this biome all day if it means I have one more chance to catch one of these legendaries. Onyx, do you feel my struggle? Do you? Do you feel my struggle? Hmm? Hey, 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 you, you just gave me a little kiss then. <laughs> Get out of here, Onyx. Okay, okay. So yeah, I'm kind of like, uh, just waiting about and I'm gonna stay here for as long as it takes. Um, last time I went and made a cup of tea and something spawned. I'm kind of tempted to do the same thing, so bear with. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stand, basically, and I'm just gonna wait, and hopefully, hopefully something happens, but it's one of those things you just don't really know, do you? So, I'm gonna keep an eye out. Ah. <sighs> Pokemon's hard, man. Ah. <laughs> oh, update three! Update three! It's not good, man. It's not good. Look, I've spotted, I've not spotted a legendary Pokemon, but real thick noodles has joined the game. I don't know what he's doing. Um, I think he's probably recording his episode or something, but I don't have anything to report. It's been very, very, very long. Um, what are we up to now? About an hour and 38 minutes? <laughs> Not a single legendary shout, man. Why? Oh, my goodness me. Um, but yeah, it's not good. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. Ah, I'll keep trying. Oh, I've just had an idea because Justin's on here. Why don't we evolve our Scyther into our shiny Scyther into Scizor? Oh, oh, perfect. This this could work out really, really well. Um, This could be good. This could be good. So unfortunately, no legendaries. Um, 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 um. I, 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 all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and evolve this. So we're going to go and evolve this and then we're going to come back. Uh, what does he say? Meet in the town center. Okie dokies. Okie dokies. There we go. Okay, let's do some evolving lads. Yeah. Oh, I've got a few more I can do, haven't I? I've got my shiny Baldor. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this. It's Justin. You, you, you like my ride? Do, do, do you like my ride? It's, 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 do you like my ride? Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> should we, should, should we go and do this trading then? Is, is it little pigeon? Do you like my little pigeon? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Say something, please, please. I, I think he likes my ride. What do you think, Justin, huh? 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 Is it good? Hey, hey, there's a pigeon. There's actual real pigeon. <laughs> it's so tiny. How dare you? How very dare you, Justin of the Thick Noodles? 
It's <laughs> oh, I know. It's terrible, isn't it? Oh, it's Zapdos! Wow! Oh, that looks so cool! Are you kidding me? Wow! Oh my goodness me! Can I ride him? Can I, I? I want to ride him. Hang on. Let me. Let me. Let me ride him. It's, uh, oh, there we go. Hey, look at that! <laughs> that looks really cool. Oh, his bird is so much bigger than my bird. Why is it poking my Articuno man? What is this? Get your Zapdos under control, Justin. <laughs> this person here, look at this trainer. This trainer is really interested in this uh, legendary uh, situation we've got going on here. I don't know why. They seem to be staring each other down. I don't think they like each other. There you go. <laughs> I, 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 they seem to be sort of... Uh, Staring each other down a bit. Oh, he's got another Moltres. What is this? Oh my goodness me. Moltres is amazing. We need to get Moltres next. Look at that lovely fiery chicken. Oh my goodness me. Why is mine the rubbish one? <laughs> Why would mine have to be the rubbish one out of the three legendary birds? It's so small and it's so blue. Oh, I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm mega jelly. Look at these amazing legendaries. I love the Moltres. That looks insane. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, okay, we should probably do this training now. But hey, I loved it. I don't, aren't the legendary birds just the coolest models ever? Look at the tail. Wow, so good, man. Okie dokie, so here we go. Uh, let's get started here with the trading. So you know what, first, let's do, oh, he's got a, uh, a, a Scyther as well. Oh my goodness, let's go with Baldor first. Uh, and then let's get that guy traded. So this is our shiny Baldor. Oh, oh yeah, we get to watch his evolutions. <laughs> okay, so hopefully he's got a good view of this. Um, oh, then having said that, he'll be able to see. Is that a shiny Graveler? Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Whoa! Okay, I can't move my camera right now, so this is sort of just going to be sort of... Graveler evolved into Golem. Okay, okay, now next up, next up, we're going to do our shiny Scyther. Um, oh, oh no, he wants, his, he wants his Golem back. Hang on, there we go. Um, am I giving you my Golem back, or are we evolving? <laughs> I actually don't know. Should we do Scyther for Scyther? Let's do Scyther for Scyther. Okay, there we go. Boom, and trade. So he's evolving his Scyther into Scyzor with a Metal Coat. I'm evolving my shiny Scyther into shiny Scyzor. So that's my two ones done now. Um, <laughs> now we need to like trade all of his Pokemon back. So we're just going to have to like give him some random things in our team. Um, that's probably the easiest way of doing it. I want to see his Golem. I think I cancelled the evolution. What? No, no, no. Did he? Oh, God. <laughs> what does that mean? Do we have to do it again? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Do we do we lose the metal coat? Uh oh. Uh, maybe we just trade it back. Um, um, um. Does it still have metal coat? Oh no, he's lost my metal coat. Justin. Okay, there we go. So, ow, I just hit my hand. Ow, ow, ow. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're trading back now. So we've got another metal coat for my side, as if he cancelled the trade. So apparently if you cancel the trades, the items get removed, which is quite something. I did not realise that. Um, but there we go. So we've got um, our... Oh, it's a weird green colour. Okay, we're going we're gonna to see these later on. We're going to see these later on. So let's keep trading. Um, so I, now I just basically have to give him his Pokemon back. Um, and sort of this is how things go now. So he's got way more to do. So that's not a biggie. We can, we can just keep going. Um... Let's have a look at his... Oh, look at his golem, man. Is that shiny or regular? Oh, it's a shiny one. Yeah. <laughs> it looks really silly. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Should we have a look at Gigalith? Let's have a look at Gigalith. Wow. Look at the shiny Gigalith, man. That looks amazing. That's really cool. We caught that one recently. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, uh, Kadabra. So we'll just give him, uh, we'll give him Fancy Lamp for now. Because uh, I need, I need stuff to, to evolve, basically. So we need to now... What? Oh, no, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Trade. Okay, so now we need to, like, watch his trade. So he's doing now Kadabra for Alakazam. So I think he's got six trades to do. I've only got two. I went through my boxes, and we don't really have that many trade evolutions. Um, so we'll just keep going and we'll see what we can do. We'll have a look at all of his Pokemon, hopefully, at the end. Um, so, okay, we've got his Alakazam. Is it a shiny one or a regular one? I think it's just a regular one. 
Um, so we'll give him Alakazam back. There we go. Uh, and now we'll give him... What else is... Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. It's... Hey, there it is. Man, the Alakazam model is cool, man. Oh, and it's gone. Okay. There we go. Look at that. It's just such a cool model. I love Pixmon. I'm so sad that they, like, cancelled it. Uh, well, not cancelled it. They got, like, DMCA'd by Pokemon because it looks so cool. Ah. Okay, so he wants Electabuzz now. So let's just do... I don't know. Let's just do Chestnut. And we'll just trade Chestnut. Okay, let me get through these trades. Okay, so those trades are done. He's just used... Oh, it's Electifier. Man, that model is cool. So that's used with an Electorizer. You've also got the Magmarizer as well, which does Magma into Magmorta. Uh, but that is the one that goes from Electabuzz into Electivire. Oh my goodness me. That is cool, isn't it? That is a cool Pokemans. And then he's got he's got a Gengar here as well, which is which is Justin. So it's, oh, he's not even looking. Not even looking. <laughs> okay, let me give him back his Gengar. Um, so ready and trade. Now he's evolving a what's he doing? A Dusclops into a Dust Noir, holding a Reaper Cloth. I want to say. I think it's Reaper Cloth. So let's see this one. The cool thing is as well is I get these Pokemon in my Pokedex, which is really nifty. Um, so there we go. Boom. Oh, it sounds really cool. I want to see what it looks like. So is it, I think he can maybe... No, I don't think he can see the... Oh, Shadow Punch. Uh, what should I learn instead? Uh, get rid of Curse for him. <laughs> okay. Uh, Gengar model is lit. Oh, yes. There we go, Justin. Down with the kids with all of your fancy sayings. Uh, hang on. Uh, uh, bloop. There you go. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's so cool. Oh, my goodness me. Whoa! Wow, are you kidding? That is just the dust noir is amazing. Oh, did you see the Gengar's face? Pickle, you look amazing in Pixelmon. I didn't realize the model had been updated. That's ridiculously cool. Oh man, I'm a mega jelly. These are amazing. <laughs> it's so cool to see these. I love like trading and stuff. Um, I'm so glad he's got these cool Pokemon to show us. Oh my goodness. Amazing. I love the Dusk Noir. I think... Oh, I have the two. Of course I love Gengar, don't get me wrong, but the Dusk Noir modeling is so good. Especially when his chest opens. Is it going to do it again? Come on. Come on. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Open. 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 Hey. Hey. Stop giving me sass. So I think we are done here. Um, Should we check out the Pride and Joy? Boom! Oh, shiny Sizor! Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. So Justin's going to let us finish up our episode here. Uh, okay, awesome. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Awesome. So we've done our trades here. Oh my goodness me, shiny Sizor is amazing. Oh, it's so pretty. Are you kidding me? He's trying to punch my Sizor. What you... Hey, 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 where are you going? Sizor! Why are you just walking out of it? Why are you walking out of it? Oh my goodness me. Oh, that's a good comparison. So that's like normal size or, uh, and shiny size. Or. Normal size was really cool as well. Um, but yeah, we were lucky enough to get the shiny Scyther from the Savannah. So, um, <laughs> yeah. They're chatting. Yeah, they are. They're buddies. They buddies. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's off, he's off, he's off, he's off. Okay, okay, okay. So, man, I think we've run out of time for today's episode. I wasn't expecting Justin to come in here today, but I'm so glad he did because we just managed to get our really cool evolution. So, we've got our Sizor evolution, and we've got our Gigalith, which are both shinies. And they just look... Spiro, get... Oh, stop. You just ruined everything for me, Spiro. What are you doing? Hang on, hang on, there we go, there we go. Boom. Look at these guys. And we also saw some of Justin's evolutions as well. Hey, pretty good. So, okay, I know we didn't get to do what we was supposed to do this episode, which was try and catch a legendary dog. It's gonna happen. I promise you. I will try my best and we'll be back next episode to finally, finally, finally try and get it. But I think as so far, as terms of successful episodes go, you know what? This one worked out pretty well. So... Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, just a quick reminder, if you want to go and check out all of my kit, my gear, and my gaming stuff, it is linked in the description below. That would be really cool. Check it out. See what you think. Uh, and yeah.
If we can try and hit 3,500 likes in this episode, that would be amazing. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rrrr,